<clears throat> Hi guys, uh, right, I thought I'd do a very quick video on split squats. I can't talk too loud because Emma's doing the stretches down there. Uh, so, main things that I want to go over again, because obviously we went through the coaching version of it a few weeks ago, and I think it can be quite easy to maybe forget the points. It's very easy to get complacent with movements. It's lengthy, really, it's the same with nutrition. Like, um, I think if you're not, if you're, if you're accountable in some way, you just end up performing everything better. So we can't obviously coach, like have a coach at every single exercise, every single minute, for every, every, every single station. So the aim is that the more you do it, it will start to resonate and you'll start personally thinking about the points. So um, the, main, the first thing I wanted to cover uh, was the foot position or the, the weight distribution. Remember what we said a few weeks ago is to think of your foot as a tripod. You want the weight to be getting evenly distributed to the ball of your foot there small toe area and obviously it will come to the big toe and your heels so that's the three points and ideally you want the weight to be getting distributed evenly through those three points okay so just bear that in mind because what we don't want to see is the most common thing that folks struggle with is that they don't they keep the, the weight the knee caves in and the, the, the weight goes off through the end step so that's the most common thing but at the same time we don't want you to go the opposite way and then take the weight away away from from the ball of the foot almost to the point where most of the weight is now being distributed through this area. So either extreme is undesirable, it's just that the most common thing is this way, okay? So to get, so it's about being aware of that. So that's the first thing I wanted to go over, to make sure that you're sitting back through the heel, um, but also making sure that the weight is through the ball of the foot and the small, small toe. So that was the first thing. The other thing I wanted to quickly cover is, um, how to make this a more hamstring and glute dominant exercise. In other words, a more spin dominant exercise. Um, and that is simply to do with the torso angle. Okay, so you basically just need to add in a hip hinge. So there is nothing incorrect about doing split squats like this. There's nothing incorrect about it as such. And, and what I mean by that is an upright torso angle just works the quads. Um, but if you want to get into a bit more nitty gritty and bring in the hamstrings and the glutes a bit more, then you need to start off in a hip hinge position. So, from there, you're going to lean forward, okay? Now again, as usual, make sure you're gently engaging your core. Don't overdo it, okay? Because you still want to maintain a strong, strong position to the core. From there, you're going to push your hips back, okay? So you're going to push your hips back. Um, so you have an angle here, as opposed to being really upright. You're going to have an angle here. Um, remember, we asked you to pause briefly at the bottom. When you come up, push up through the heel, primarily through the heel. The weight should be distributed through the ball of the foot and then and this, this wee small toe. You're going to come up, we ask you to keep a slight bend at the top, okay, and then on the way back down, you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to push the hip back as you bend the knee. So simultaneously push the hip back and bend the knee. Uh, and while you maintain a, a, a nice wee angle at the torso, it's going to bring in this part of the hamstring and the, the glute more. Obviously while you're doing that, you're still being aware of the weight distribution, make sure your knee's not caving in. And if you do that, it will, again, it will, it will bring in this part of the, the, the glutes. So, that was the main two things to consider. Just be aware, you're still wanting to engage your core though. Um, you don't want to overdo it. So this is one thing that I've saw a few times is that when people are concentrating so much and tucking their, their pelvis under to engage in here, it's actually going to start restricting you if you if you end up overdoing it, if that makes sense, because then you can't get your hips back. So it'd be the same as squat. If you're tucking under, you try to squat down. I've seen a few folk do this last week and they're trying so hard to keep their pelvis under, but obviously you can't really go down. So it's about engaging the core, maintaining the core, while pushing your hips back, as opposed to just sticking your ass out, obviously. So that's the main points I just wanted to cover briefly on the split squats. Foot position, weight distribution, and if you want to bring in the, the glutes and hamstrings more, lean into it a wee bit, have a, 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 basically a hinge at the hips, and as you come down, push your hip back as you bend the knee, okay?